If we go back in time, 17th April 2004 was the darkest day for Soundarya's fans, family and well-wishers. We lost our favorite actress that day. But many less know that Soundarya had escaped from death before once. It was 1998 when the film Sri Ramulaiya's Pooja was going on. It was celebrated very grandly. It was Mohan Babu's film. The ceremony was held in Ramonaidu studio. People were gathered in a huge number. People were present up to the radius of 5 km. While the ceremony was being done, people started to jump inside the studio. For the safety of the actors and the people present inside the studio, they were separated and were taken out of the studio. But it was not possible to go from that place. As people were in huge number, so even Soundarya's car couldn't move. The car was in the same place for about 15 to 20 minutes and that is the place where the bombs were placed after the clearance sandhya's car moved within few minutes bomb blasted and nearly 25 people died there and many were injured full security was given while the shooting was done after the incident but in 2004 it had been a year after soundarya's marriage and as we all know opportunities for actresses are reduced after their marriage but this was not the case with soundarya soundarya's sister-in-law nirmala said that even soundarya had many films in her hand soundarya's brother amarnath thought that even if she is not working in films she should be with people she should serve them and be helpful and even soundarya thought the same whatever she was it was only because of the love that people had shown to her and she thought of repaying it and 2004 was the time of elections even soundarya had agreed to campaign for bjp but she was shooting for the film Aapta Mitra few sequences of the film were left out on the same day of campaign Soundarya had to shoot for the film so she requested Mr Vishnuvardhan to help her so Mr Vishnuvardhan spoke with the director and pre-pawned the sequences our director of Aapta Mitra told once that during the shoot of Ankudonku song from the movie Aapta Mitra Amarnath was really worried about elections and arrangements were speeded up for their sake as they had to leave at the last shoot that is at the shoot of Rara song after all the arrangements were done the art director had gone to fresh up but when he came back at 6 o'clock am he saw that Soundarya's helper was crying and cursing Soundarya that her life should be ruined she should be destroyed when asked why she said that Soundarya had scolded her the art director spoke about this to Soundarya so she said that her helper instead of giving food to Soundarya's mother was busy chit-chatting the shoot was completed and Soundarya went home Soundarya's sister-in-law Nirmala says that Soundarya was never satisfied with her clothes and like always she was not happy that she had no good cotton saree even though her wardrobe was full so she selected a few sarees from Nirmala's wardrobe for the campaign Nirmala says that Soundarya had the habit of being late and she was always late like always she was late on that day too 
she was in a hurry and roaming all over. When she was ready, she climbed down four steps and came back again, asking Nirmala for Kumkuma. Nirmala found it very strange as Saundarya had never done like this. She never asked like this. Then she gave her the Kumkuma. Amarnath and Saundarya happily went to the airport. No one even thought, no one even had the clue that they can never see them again. At the airport, when at first the helicopter which had Saundarya and her brother hit the ground, it did blast at that moment. Saundarya and her brother were actually alive at that moment. But people nearby them hesitated to go near them. Instead of that, they were actually taking videos of it. After few moments, the helicopter blasted. Saundarya and Amarnath were actually burnt alive. Saundarya was an amazing person, a pure soul. But she lost her life in a most undeserving way. She wanted to help people, serve them, but she couldn't do that. Just like her name, she was a beauty. But that beautiful woman was burnt and her body was in a most devastated state and no one could see that. I always think, if she was alive, she would be happy with her family and kids. She would have acted in many number of films. She might have even entertained us till today. Like her wish, she could have helped people, directed a film. But I can only wish for it. I hope that this was true. But this isn't. She was really an icon. We miss you, Saundarya. We really do. And I especially miss you. Love you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.